Welcome to another Realvolve training video. In this segment, we will cover setting up a property workflow to send an email to the locksmith for rekey. I received this email. I want to create an email that I can send to a locksmith, I sell foreclosures, that says this property is ready for rekey. The lockbox code on the front door is X. Can I embed the lockbox code for a property into the email template? Yes, you can. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and show a workflow that I just set up and we'll go through the process of running through the workflow and then also how to set up that workflow once you see how it works. So here we have our property and we'll start a workflow. Choose the REO BPO property process. Click on next. Okay, in this case, this could have hundreds of different activities in it for the REO BPO process itself. I've got one item that is just for general and then two items that are marked as rekey. Again, you may have 20, 30 or more items in this list. As you're going through the workflow process, if you don't need a rekey done, you can simply uncheck rekey as the group items and it will automatically uncheck those items. In this case, we want to go ahead and use the rekey and click on next. The next thing we do is ask for our starting date. In this case, I've chosen a date and it's calculated the dates for each of the activities I have in the workflow. I'll click on next. In this particular activity, the items are using Johnny Keys as the locksmith and I'll show you how that's set up in a second. Let's go ahead and click on done to go ahead and assign this. And as you see, it goes ahead and creates the first activity, which is just the inspect a property. We can go ahead and mark that one as complete. I will go ahead and go to the activities list. Since this particular workflow had it set for one day after the start date, the activity to send the email is not here yet. If it was assigned for today, it would show on this list here. In this case, now I've got two activities in my activities list that need to be completed. The get property rekeyed is the activity that allows us to send the initial email. I'll check it as done, and you'll see that the Available Actions comes up as Send the Rekey Email. I'll choose that and click on Run. And I'll go ahead and send the message as it is. Now what happens is that that activity is now marked as completed. If we look at the email that was sent, it has our current date, the address for the property, and also the lockbox number. The information from those merge fields come from the address listed at the top, and from the Showings tab, you can go to the lockbox number that's listed here. Now let's go back to the activities. And you'll see that the third activity that is in this workflow is to verify that the rekey has been sent and that you have keys in hand. This would normally happen five days after the completion of the original email that was sent. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and process it as if today was the 25th. I click on this. This particular activity has two checklist items. Was the property rekeyed and do I have the keys in hand? You can have any number of checklist items. Those are just the two that I added. In this case, if I don't have either one of them, this checklist is incomplete and I've got a action set up to allow me to send an email back to the locksmith in order for me to find out what the status is. If I don't have the information that I need, I click on this and I can click on run. This sends the email to the locksmith whenever I click on send message. Once that process is complete, you'll notice that the date gets forwarded by one day, which is what I had it set up for. I'll go ahead and complete this activity. Once I've completed each of the checklists, you'll see that the activity itself is now complete. Because it's complete, I now have the ability to run a different action called remove tag requested rekey. I'll go ahead and select that and click on Run. At this point, all the activities are complete and the emails have been sent out and you should be good to go. Now at this point, let's go ahead and go back and see how this is all set up. The first thing that we want to look at is the emails that we will be sending. We use under Templates, the Template Editor, and I've set up two email templates. One is the Rekey the Property, which is the first email that gets sent, and then the second is the email status, which if the locksmith does not perform his duties within the five days, I then send the email request uh, for a status. When setting up an email template, enter the title, where you'll be using this template, in this case the property, 
and then a subject for the email itself. We're going to be sending this as an email and then in the body of the email we'll set up our message along with the merge fields that go along with it. The system is set up to automatically show you the merge fields once you start typing double brackets. Let me go ahead and delete this out and we'll type in bracket bracket and it shows you the list of merge fields that are available. I'm going to type in current and it'll show you that I have a current date and I'll just go ahead and pick that. We can do the same thing for the other merge fields that are in here. I've chosen to include the street address. If I was to do this from scratch, I'd put in bracket bracket, type in address, and it shows me all the merge fields that have the word address in it. I'm going to choose property street address. So this message would come up as the property located at and whatever the street address is, is ready for rekey. The lockbox on the front door is in this case, I really should have this as the lockbox code on the front door is, and then we use the lockbox number as the code. Likewise, I can put in bracket bracket, lockbox, and it shows me anything that has the word lockbox in it, which is the only field that we have is the lockbox number. Once you've made your template the way you need it, you click on save, and you're ready for that. Just to review the rekey status, I click on this. Same basic principle. We've put in the current date. We put in the address. Please let me know when you have it completed and the keys in hand. Thanks. And the same merge fields for the lockbox number. At this point, we've got the two different templates set up that we'll use within our workflow. So now let's go to the workflows. OK, so in this case, we've got the REO BPO properties process. A workflow can be named anything. You just put in the title, where it's going to be used. In this case, once again, we're using property and a brief description, if you like. I chose to also include a group called Rekey. You can click on the Add Groups button to add any additional groups that you may want. Groups, again, are used for allowing you to turn off or turn on quickly activities that are in a given group. Since you may choose to not rekey a property, by having the rekey group, you can quickly remove any activities within your workflow that have something to do with rekey. I'll go ahead and click on the down arrows on this list. The first activity is something that was just part of an activity that doesn't have anything to do with the rekeying process at all. I'll go ahead and go to the Get Property Rekeyed, and we'll click on the Edit button. In this case, I've chosen to give this a title of Get Property Rekeyed. It's assigned to me. On the Pick the Interested Party, since I use a specific locksmith each time, I've pre-selected his name in the list. On the Win, I've chosen to do this one day after the start date. It is an email, and I've chosen the group to be Rekey. Down at the bottom on the Actions, I clicked on Create an Action, which brings me this action. Send the Rekey email is the title that I gave it. It is sending an email message, and I've chosen from my templates the Rekey the Property template that we had pre-set up. I've also specified that I want a tag assigned to the property whenever this email gets sent saying Requested Rekey, and then click on Save. Once everything has been entered the way you want it, click on the Update button. Now let's go to the Verify. In this activity, we're wanting to verify that the property has been rekeyed and that we've got the keys in hand. I've given that as the title. Once again, I'm the person doing this. The picking of the interested party, Johnny Keys. He's the locksmith that I've chosen to use each time. On the Win, We've chosen to set this up with five days after the completion of our first email of Get Property Rekeyed. So after five days, after we've sent the original email, this activity will come up and remind us to check to see, did we get it rekeyed and do we have the keys in hand? There are two checklist items. Was the property rekeyed and have the keys in hand? This is a to-do activity. Once again, I've got it set up as a rekey as the group and then down on the actions we've got two different actions one action is to send a status email in the event that we do not have these two checklist items completed 
the way that is set up is we created the action. The action itself has a title of send status email. We're sending an email message. And in this case, once again, we're choosing another template called the rekey status. Down at the bottom, I've chosen that this action is for incomplete checklist. So if either one of the checklists on this activity is not complete, this action will be available. Once we've sent the message, I've rescheduled it one day out. So after that point, each day I'll get another reminder that this activity needs to be completed. Once the activity has been completed and both checklist items are complete, then I've created another action that comes in and basically removes the request rekey from the tags. It does nothing other than that. We click on Save. Once everything is entered the way you want, we click on Update for this activity. And there you have it. The templates and the workflow has been created for this process.